everybody, it's Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. And back by popular demand, my man Nicholas, because he's here to help me show you how hockey players rock it off ice doing some stick handling and shooting. You ready to go? Yes, Coach. As Nike once said, let's do it. It's actually just do it, but it didn't work for the script, so I had to improvise. A lot of the drills you'll see in Nicholas's 60-minute lesson are from the Accelerator Program Flight Number 15. For this first drill, he'll receive a pass on the backhand, fake over to the forehand, and use the backhand to pop it over the attack triangle blade and finish each rep with a forehand shot. Switching over to the forehand pop over, I first show him how he has to pull the puck in towards the body and pop it near the toe of the blade. This technique can take a little while to get. Regardless if he pops it over or not, I still want him ending each attempt with a backhand shot. Moving over to a three puck single line sequence drill, he starts with the puck closest to his feet and goes backhand to forehand, toe heel in between the two pucks, and then places it on the line ahead of the others using the toe of the blade. Repeat this pattern moving forward and end each trip to the net with a backhand, forehand, and backhand shot. What we do forward, we'll also do backwards. He starts by grabbing the puck furthest away from his feet with the toe of the blade, pulls it out to the forehand side, toe heel in between the pucks, and then place it on the backhand shuffling backwards. He ends each rotation with a forehand, backhand, and one more forehand shot. One drill I use to get players shooting more aggressively is where I roll a puck across the room, and their only objective is to step towards the net and rip it. Check this out. Nicholas steps into this first one. It rolls back to him. He hammers it again, but this time top shelf, and gets the second puck towards the net as well. That's what you call developing a quick release. After a quick water break, we flip-flop sides and he did a few rounds stepping towards the net taking backhands. Sometimes I like to catch players off guard. Here I increase the speed I'm rolling the pucks, and he has to react much faster. Nicholas never backs down from anything and battles till the very end. Here's one of my softness drills I call forehand toe glue. The objective is to keep the puck moving on the toe of the stick blade the whole time. As you navigate it around the top and underneath each orange puck and snap it back at an upward angle across the red line and repeat shuffling forward. And each trip to the net with a backhand shot. He was feeling pretty good about going top shelf here so I challenged him to follow it up with the same result. Sure enough, he pulled it off and earned that post goal selly. Moving right along, we progress into the backward version of the previous pattern, but now navigate the puck using the toe of the blade around the top and underneath each orange puck, snapping it back across the red line. Once at the end, complete each rotation with a forehand shot. Next I'll have him work on a clockwise cupping pattern moving forward. Once to the end of the Pitlick stick handling grid, he'll finish up with forehand in tight shots. After a few reps, I switch the pattern over to counterclockwise, finishing up with backhand in tight shots. Nicholas likes to watch the next drill example with me from my off-ice stick handling and shooting program. He's so awesome. Hey, speaking of my program, for a limited time, you can get a free sample of my foundational and accelerator programs. Just head over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com and click on the link below the video and take the program for a test drive. We messed around with this two-toe pull step-back drill ending with backhand shots, then over to the other side of the room ending with forehand shots. From there, I'm back to rolling a puck over to him, but instead of shooting it this time, I want him to pop it up in the air with the forehand and then bat it to the net with the forehand. After a couple rounds of that, he starts on the other side of the room, still doing the forehand pop-up, but now backhand bats to the net. For this last drill, Nicholas set an objective to score 10 goals top right before he leaves. Let's see what happens. You know what just happened? No, I don't know. You just got a little better. And folks, that's how this process works. You have to have a patient and persistent approach. And what do you have to be doing? Putting in the work. That's right, because if you hang in there long enough, there's gonna be a time when you're standing in front of a mirror looking at yourself and you're gonna say, I got some game. That's the journey this guy's on. Excellent effort today, and we'll see you next time.